Hello guys, guys and gamers, and welcome back to another video. Before we begin, I would love to remind you guys to please like and subscribe. If we hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, I will do a live stream dissecting the game design behind the my most disappointing game I have ever played. That is sure to be exciting for you. And also, if you want, you can comment down below. I really want to start a discussion with my videos. But now, let's get back into the actual topic of this video, which is, of course, Nintendo Switch Sports. It is almost here. It is wonderful to see a revival of such a beloved series that a lot of people just thought was dead. We have not had a game in the Wii series in, what, seven years now? Yeah. Well, it's not the longest period we have not had a main, you know, game in some series like Animal Crossing Metroid have had like bigger and Kid Icarus even has had like bigger gaps uh, between games but still a lot of people thought it was dead because you know it is the Wii series named after the Wii console or the Wii family of consoles so with the Nintendo Switch a lot of people thought it was just you know dead but today's discussion is uh, is other Wii games, you know, games like Wii Play, uh, Wii Fit, Wii Party, uh, the other ones, are they going to return as well? We have the return of Wii Sports now, but after Nintendo Switch Sports, will we get other games like that, like Nintendo Switch Fit? Is it possible? And yeah, that is what I want to talk about today. But before we really go into which games will, you know, which are likely, we'll go at, like individually look at them. I think it would be good for a small history lesson, like why did we have this gap between games? So yeah, why did Nintendo stop making like Wii branded games? The obvious answer is, of course, we have a console now named Nintendo Switch. Hey, hey, different name console. But why did Nintendo give up the Wii uh, name in its consoles and stuff? Well, um, the Wii series, or the Nintendo Wii itself, is originally kind of made like for casual audiences in mind. Uh, the Wii back in the day was a huge hit with the casual audiences. It was a phenomenon. Everyone wanted the Wii, even people who were not that uh, interested in games before and I think it did it successfully at least for a uh, majority of its life cycle. A little bit in the end people were not you know giving a shit about the Wii anymore at that point and the Wii series game uh, very simple like gameplay easy to understand stuff to do and a lot of the motion controly stuff was uh, you know everyday activities that you know like playing tennis or maybe uh, cooking or something or throwing a frisbee, you know, easy to understand stuff that you need to do with the waggly motion controls. So it was like very much like made for like a casual audience and not like a hardcore gaming audience. You know, the Wii did it well. Wii was a hit with the casual audiences. But after the Wii, Nintendo had another console before the Switch. And that console was called, of course, the Wii U. And that one that one was not a success uh, to the extent that the Wii was, or even a success at all. You can ask just anyone, the Wii U was not a success. And yeah, the Wii U didn't get many Wii series games, kind of because, uh, you know, it was such a failure. And a lot of the development was focused on like 3DS games, so no... Not a lot of uh, Wii games during that era either. We did get some like Wii Party U, Wii Fit U, uh, Wii Sports Club, which is the third Wii Sports game. Uh, a lot of people forget about that one. And of course, like it didn't make sense to make a lot of like Wii games for the Wii U either because, um, you know, the you know user base was so low, so casual games would not, of course, thrive in it because... A lot of the people who bought Wii U were like diehard Nintendo fans and it didn't really branch out. And because of like kind of like the Wii U's uh, failure, uh, Nintendo just uh, decided to move away from the Wii branding in its consoles and its games as well. And the marketing was very much more like focused towards like uh, 
uh, older gaming audience and people who actually play video games and not just like ca casual peeps. Um, you can see it clearly um, in the like, if you look at old Wii U commercials, there's just usually like a bunch of kids discussing a game or having a quirky family moment or something dumb like that. And compare that to just like the first Nintendo Switch trailer where you have like a guy about my age, probably, I don't know how old the guy is, but just going out with the dog and playing Legend of Zelda while cooking or something. And then there's the infamous rooftop party scene where a couple of youngsters, well, not young, but you know, um, young adults, uh, go have a rooftop party and one of them brings the switch and is apparently popular still have not seen that happen in real life but oh uh, well and you know Nintendo wanted to go away from that Wii branding and Wii games and make more like kind of serious games like Breath of the Wild and that kind of stuff so why does Switch Wars come out now is well Nintendo still likes making uh, casual games. They make uh, Ring Fit Adventures, uh, Clubhouse games. They still make those just, you know, a, a bit less. And also, why bring it back? Because Wii Sports was a massive sales success. It sold like over a hundred million copies, though that number is a bit skewed because, it, you know, it came with, you know, the console. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of those games out there. So, uh, how successful is the Wii Sports series in general? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say because a lot of that is, you know, skewed. So yeah, that's kind of the history behind Nintendo, why they stopped making uh, uh, Wii games for a while. But now let's get on to the main events here. So uh, which one of these uh, Wii games, and they are, they are like Wii Fit, Wii Play, uh, Wii Party, Wii Music, all these. Uh, which ones are likely to return. And of course, like in general, a lot of this uh, can depend on the sales of Switch Sports. If Nintendo Switch Sports does not sell well, or at least according to Nintendo's expectations, which I would say are quite high, uh, I think Nintendo might even expect Switch Sports to sell around 10 million copies or so because, you know, people like sports games and this kind of has the Nintendo Wii Sports identity behind it. A lot of people are nostalgic for it and stuff like Ring Fit is, I think it's pretty close to 10 million. I do not remember uh, exactly how many copies uh, Ring Fit has sold, but that was really successful as well. So I, I would think Nintendo has high expectations for Switch Sports as well. So if it doesn't live up to that, I don't see a lot of like other Wii games making it over to Nintendo Switch or other future consoles. But yeah, let's start with the first one on this list is Wii Fit series, which is Wii Fit, Wii Fit Plus and Wii Fit U. Will we get a fourth edition? And this is, I'm a bit mixed on this. On one hand, I could see it because, again, Ring Fit was a success, so they might uh, be like, hey, we like making fitness games, we could make another Ring Fit, maybe, or we could just, you know, bring Wii Fit back, have a different peripheral. I'm not sure if the balance board would come back, but maybe. But at the same time, does, really, does Nintendo really need Wii Fit? Or would they just like want to make something like Ring Fit, something that is a bit different, that something that still has to do with exercising and just leave the Wii Fit brand to die in the past and, you know, not bring it back ever. So they just might do like exercising games and not care about Wii Fit anymore. So I'm a bit mixed on this. It could, there's a possibility, but at the same time, they could just, you know, move on and not do it. <laughs> Uh, next is We Play, We Play Motion. Another really uh, a sales success, but another one that's kind of you know skewed because um, originally We Play I think came with the uh, a Wii controller, uh, so it was like Wii controller was like sixty bucks and uh, Wii controller with the game was eighty bucks. So people of course were like, 
okay, I could buy just a controller or I could get a game with it for not that much more. So of course they were going to buy that cool game with it. So the sales numbers again might be a bit skewed, but um, I'm not sure if this would return again. A uh, similar thing with uh, Wii Fit actually, because they can still do like mini play compilations without this brand attachment to it. Like they did with like one two switch, which was uh the release uh game for Nintendo Switch, which people didn't care about. People did not care about one two switch, so maybe not. I don't think this is, and even still, this is way less likely that we fit. People don't remember we play that much. They might remember some mini games from it that they can just bring up, a uh, bring up in like other collections. I think um. Uh, Clubhouse Games had uh, some of those mini games as well in there. Maybe Tanks. I'm not really sure. I didn't play that game. So, yeah, I don't see it coming back. Uh, next up on the list is Wii Music. And also put Wii Karaoke U here because both are music games. So, this one is a bit weird. Uh, people didn't like Wii Music. It wasn't that big of a success. And you could only play... Uh, Nintendo music badly in there so it wasn't really that what people want from a music playing game so I don't see it coming back maybe in a karaoke form but Nintendo has been very weird with music in general lately so I'm not really sure what we can make of this like they have none of the Nintendo stuff available on like a streaming service or anything they also just, you know, highlight only their music. Uh, like in Ring Fit Adventure, they got like a music playing rhythm game mode that was all Nintendo music. So I'm not really sure what they would do with it. I don't know. I'm not much of a music guy. That's always my excuse when talking about music stuff. Um, I don't see Wii Music coming. Wii Karaoke U, uh, maybe. I mean, we haven't had a big... Uh, let's sing or sing star game in a while but at the same time I'm not sure if there is even you know anyone who wants that there was probably some people but is there really a big demand for a different new one probably not um, the next one uh, I think is one of the most likely ones here and that is we party and also we party you yeah, included in there and I do think this is very likely because one, the recent success of Mario Party, uh, they might want to keep a few years, maybe not have a Mario Party, but with like a different brand here. So they could do just like a Nintendo Switch Party, which would be a bit different. And it would uh, give people who love Mario Party a bit more time to breathe and give the Nintendo developers who want to, I think it's ND Cube who's making uh, these games, give them some breathing room, still do a party game, but try a little bit something new, something a bit riskier maybe, and then just do another party game, but not have the Mario characters involved in this time. So they won't, you know, flood Nintendo Switch with Mario Party games, but they can make like other party games instead. So I can see Wii Party U being a very likely uh, return. Uh, the next one is Wii Chess, and this only released in Europe and Japan from my uh, understanding. And will it return? Who cares? I don't care. Uh, there, there was chess in Clubhouse games. That should be enough. We don't need a specific like, chess game for Nintendo Switch made by Nintendo, I feel like. And no one just cares about Wii Chess, so... Uh, the last one is Wii Sports Resorts. So will we get more Nintendo Switch sports after Nintendo Switch? And I think it's just mainly about the popularity of Nintendo Switch sports. If it is really popular, if people seem to want more, they can always like do DLC uh, for it. So, so, so they can add like uh, sports from uh, Switch Sport, uh, I mean, Wii Sports Resource. This is getting really confusing with the naming conventions. Honestly, I, I might be bumbling a bit. The, the, so Nintendo Switch Sports might get some additional sports as DLC 
from Wii Sports Resorts. There, I said it. That is one thing they can do. And I think if they do another sports game, uh, they might wait until like the next console because we don't know how many more years the Switch has. So maybe not start developing another sports game for the Nintendo Switch and instead do DLC for the already existing sports game. And, you know, then when the next console comes, if possible, make a sports games for that one. That's what I think. So those were all of the uh, uh, Wii series games. There's also uh, Wii Street View and Wii Panorama View, but those are more apps than games. So I'm not going to talk about them. I'm not sure if those would return or if anyone cares. Well, I have one friend who cares, but no one cares. Uh, but what do you think? Which one of these Wii series games would you love to see return? Which ones do you think should be just left in the past. Let me know down in the comments below and remember to subscribe. I have nothing else to say here so I will just see you guys next time. Bye bye!